Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. Um, today, I look different. I have my glasses on and my hair up, and I don't have any makeup on because I just don't give a shit. <laughs> I, that's just kind of week I've had. I just don't really care. I am here drinking my coffee, and yeah, I just, I don't care. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a video for gift ideas for Christmas. Um... I have 10 things, 5 of them are drugstore and 5 of them are high-end. Um, by drugstore I mean just like reasonably priced, some of them are online, some of them you can get at Ulta, um, you know, different different things like that. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So I'm going to start out with things from the drugstore. The first thing that I have here is the Wet n Wild highlighters. So this is just one that I have, um, hopefully you guys can see that. This one is in Precious Petals, and I love this highlighter. I think it's so beautiful. Um, it really has like a nice glow to it, and uh, I just think they're super reasonably, reasonably priced. You can get these at like Walmart. That is what it looks like. It looks so beautiful. I'm sorry, my hands are like super veiny. That's my bad. Oh well, can't help it. And yeah, I think these are super be beautiful. Most of them are pretty good formulas. Um, I have not tried their like highlighting palette, but I've heard that's really good. Um, the only one that I don't recommend is, I think it's like something canopy or something like that. I'll leave it down below if you guys are interested. But this one, I mean, it's formula is great. Um, I just would definitely recommend these. And there are products that I would recommend, like Tarte, you know, Shape Tape and, um, you know, Fenty Beauty and stuff like that. But I think it's not smart to recommend, like, foundations and concealers and things like that because you have to know their shade. You have to know exactly what, you know, um, makeup they wear and things like that. And you have to know, like, what their skin type is and all that stuff. And obviously, like, that kind of gives it away if you have to ask them, hey, what foundation do you wear in Fenty Beauty? So, just because I don't mention it in this video doesn't mean I don't like them, um, or that I wouldn't recommend them for a gift. I just, um, I'm kind of recommending, like, universal things where you don't have to know, like, their shade or anything like that to be able to get them a good gift. Um, next, I'm going to recommend, from the drugstore, um, is the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster. This is super well-loved. As you can see, like, there's nothing there anymore. Like, there used to be writing, and you can hardly see it. But this is just a really nice bronzer. I feel like if you have a really deep skin tone, this isn't going to show up on you. Um, because it's kind of borderline a little too light for me. But I really like it as just a regular, just nice bronzing powder. Um, just to warm up your skin. Um, and I think it's really good. I know if you have a lighter skin tone, this probably would be good as even like a contour shade. But I think if you have anywhere from like light to medium skin tone, um, you could definitely pull this off either as a bronzer or a contour or anything like that. So I think that would be a really good idea to get. The next items I have here are the B Matte City Blushes. Um, you can, I think, order these online. But I got... I know I can get these at Five and Below, um, which shows you how reasonably reasonably priced they are. So this one right here is in Papaya, and this is just a nice like neutral, um, neutral like peachy sort of shade. It has a little bit of pink and a little bit of peach, but I think it looks so beautiful. Um, that one's my favorite. And then this one right here is in Blackberry. And this one is a much more, um, like a baby doll pink or like a little like lavender to it. And they're very pigmented. Um, that's them right there. Hopefully you guys can see. So that one's papaya and then this one is blackberry. They have a whole bunch of other shades. So if you guys don't like these ones, there's way more out there. Um, there's brighter pinks. There's, um, I think deeper shades. I know they have one that's almost like a brown, so that would look really good on deeper skin tones. Um, and so I really think they have a nice universal range, and they're super reasonably priced. So I definitely think that's a good idea if you guys are interested. 
The next items I have here that I would recommend are the NYX Butter Glosses. So these are just three of them that I have here. And these are super pigmented glosses. Um, that's what they are. They are lip glosses. And I love them. They are so reasonably priced. You can get them at Ulta, Target. Um, I just don't think you can get them at Walmart. But I know you can get them at Ulta and Target. And... I mean, they are just so beautiful. Um, they have so many colors to choose from. So there's got to be one out there that you think, you know, whoever you're getting it for will like. So that is them right there. This bottom one is Strawberry Parfait. And that's what it looks like. The next one, the middle one, is Tiramisu. So that one right there. And then the very top one is Angel Food Cake. And they are so beautiful. I love them so much. I would definitely recommend them. They last a really long time. They don't bleed. Um, and they're not super sticky or anything like that. They're super comfortable on the lips. And I would highly, highly, highly recommend these. If you know whoever you're shopping for likes lip glosses. And the last thing I would recommend from the drugstore are Morphe palettes. Now, I know Morphe is... Um, just recently came to Ulta and these are a little bit more pricier than say like um, you know a wet and wild palette would be but I think they are so good I think they last super long on the eyes so these are this is just um, the 35O matte and the 35O shimmer so I have both of these and I just showed you these two just so you can see, I'm going to swatch some of the shimmers and some of the mattes from both of these. And just show you how good they are. Because they really are, I mean, I find that they last with or without a um, primer. I think they are just seriously so good. Um, and you can see by the swatches, like... So that's three of the shimmer shades. I wish I could get it a little bit better. Sorry guys, I'm so bad at this. But that's three of the shimmer shades. And then, oh my gosh, I'm ruining my pants for you guys. Hopefully you appreciate it. Like they are super pigmented. Um, they last a really long time on the eyes. Um, and I really love them. I would so recommend them if there are so many palettes out there that um, they have. So literally there has to be one out there that they like. If whoever you're shopping for likes really warm tones, definitely go for the 35 um, O. So, oh my gosh, I'm an awful YouTuber. So there's all those shades right there. Sorry guys. I'm really bad at this, but I mean, they are so beautiful, so pigmented. Um, I would highly, 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 highly recommend them. Um, they're so affordable and just, I think they're completely worth the money. Um, sadly, Morphe um, is not cruelty free, so if you, um, they're not, I'm not going to say they're not cruelty free, they're just not being very reliable with their cruelty free stance. So if you are cruelty free, um, then you may want to stay away from these. But I know like, I don't have the Jaclyn Hill palette, but I've heard that one's amazing. Um, like I said, these are the 35 O's and there's so many more out there. So if you are not cruel, or if you are not cruelty free, um, definitely check those out. They are such a good option, and I really love them. Next, we're going to be moving on to um, the high-end brand. So the first thing I have here are the NARS blushes. Um, so one of these I bought myself, which is this one. This is one of the NARS um, duos. So this is Orgasm and Laguna, but I'm just going to swatch Orgasm for you guys. Um, these blushes are super pretty, super pigmented. Um, I really like them. Okay, I take it back. They're not like super pigmented, but they're like a nice buildable. Um, 
and that's that's what I like about them. And then this next one, my boyfriend actually got me for, um, for, what am I trying to say? Christmas last year. So, I, like, he actually gifted this one to me. So that's why I love them. So, um, orgasm doesn't show up as well on me. You can't really see it, but, um, I do really like it. So that's orgasm, and then this one right here is deep throat. Um, and obviously deep throat is this one in the bigger pan. And I love these. I would really definitely recommend. Again, though, if you guys are cruelty-free, NARS is not cruelty-free anymore. So, um, obviously, I wouldn't purchase them. But um, that's just kind of... I'm just throwing that out there just in case you guys are cruelty-free. Mm. <laughs> you guys are cruelty-free. I will definitely let you, let you know if um, they aren't. So, these ones aren't. Um, the next thing I would recommend is the Tartist Pro To Go Eyeshadow Palette. So this is just a nice, simple eyeshadow palette. Sorry guys, you can see my camera. Um, I love this. I'm going to swatch a couple shades from here. Um, I think this palette is so good. It is perfect for traveling. I took this to Florida when I went with my boyfriend. And it, oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so pigmented. And I have not tried the TARDIS Pro, like the big palette, but this one is just so good. Like, it's so compact and, like, pigmented. Like, you're not um, getting less of a quality because you're getting, like, less, you know, like the smaller palette version. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I am so bad. <laughs> Okay, well you can see some of the shades right there, and then you can see the other shades right here. There we go. That works okay. So yeah. Those are those shades. I think they're so good, so pigmented. Um, if you guys have tried the um, big pro to go you should definitely leave it in the comments below because I'm sure that one's just as good. But this is the mini, so if people are just starting out with makeup, or they just want a nice to-go palette, this would be... Excuse me. This would be a great, like, stocking stuffer. Oh, my camera died. So, if it looks different, that's why. Hopefully, I can get through the rest of this video. The um, next thing I would recommend is the Stila Glitter and Glows. This one is in Kit and Karma. And these are just super pretty, just for anyone who likes that glitter or wants to get started with glitter. These are super easy to work with. Um, they're so pretty pretty and they come in tons of different colors so there should be one out there that they're definitely interested in so these are definitely um a go-to and I know they have like packs of like different ones with like minis in them so they can try out multiple colors the next thing I would recommend are the TARDIS lip paints these are just two minis and I think you can get them in a set right now um I just think these are really comfortable on the lips. They last a really long time. Their colors are really nice. They have tons of shades. Um, and I just think they are definitely worth it. Um, like I said, you can get them in mini so they can try them out like these. Um, so that one right there is Rosé. And this one right here is... FOMO, I think. F-O-M-O. -O. So, these two are super pretty, last a really long time, and they're comfortable on the lips. And the last things I have are the Buxom Lip Glosses. So, these are just super nice, super long-wearing, opaque, and um, they have like a tingling sensation, so they make them, like your lips look a little bit more plump. And I just think they're beautiful, beautiful glosses. That's them right there. Wait. Right there and right there. So this one right here is Dolly. And then that one is White Russian, which I'm sure you guys have heard of. Again, tons of different colors. Super beautiful. So, yeah. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below what I should do next. Um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.